Welcome to the Mental Breakdown Morning Show. I'm Dr. Bernie Wilkinson. I'm Dr. Richard Marshall. And here we are on Tuesday, Tuesday December 20th, 2016. Mm. And we There's no are... no turning back now. We're in the 20s. <laughs> okay. That's right. Hurtling toward Christmas. It's the final countdown. Right. We just, if we had the right... When you get to the, the song, 20s, there can be no doubt that you're... That, I mean... You see what kind of mood he's in this morning, that, that guys? Too, that too gets you there, man. That too is... Because oh you know my. that 25 is coming... Soon. What's up with 25? You know. What is what You happened? know. <laughs> you know what's happening. I don't know that I know, but I'll... You know. Ca I'll come Ms. up with something. Miss Cassie happens. will tell you if you don't remember. <laughs> <Ms. Cassie. laughs> All right. So, but today we are continuing our discussion, our, our, our developmental <clears throat> discussion. That's right. Yesterday we talked about age three. Um, and all the things that uh, are related to that. But today we're going to talk about age five. Right. Uh, because age five is where the child is starting to enter that new and all important phase of life. That's right. School. That's right. Because everything we've done as parents up to this point is to get kids ready to go to school. Right. Um, the right. preparation for school. Um, that's what the toilet training and everything, all the training and the um, warnings and the language, all that development is right. all about getting kids ready to go to school so that they can benefit from that very new, very different environment. Right. Even though a lot of kids go to preschool. Right. Preschool is different than regular school. Absolutely. It's a very different world. And so the, the big thing that has to happen uh, or needs to happen by around the age of five, by the time they, about the time they start school, is that kids need to be able to have some control over their emotions. That's right. Emotional control is the big milestone. Right. Uh, to age five. At right. age five. Because emotional control is going to is going to contribute to several other things that is critical to success at school. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing, for example, is being able to take direction from others that aren't parents. Right. You know. So, of course, we have the introduction of teachers now. And, mm -hmm. and sure, again, as you said, sure, te some kids have uh, have had experiences in preschool. Um, and, and a lot of kids who had experiences in preschool do very well in kindergarten because they've already grown accustomed. That's right. To they've that. learned. They've learned through that experience how to control their own emotions. Right. You know, right. That, that, that it is essential in these places that you control your own emotions. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. And and so the the introduction of teachers creates this uh, phenomenon now where the student or the child needs to be able to uh, meet the expectations of someone who isn't going to, it, they, they haven't known their own entire life, right. for one. Mm -hmm. and, and for two, someone that's not going to um, be with them 24 right. hours a day. You know, mm -hmm. this is a person that they go and that they're exposed to for, you know, about seven and a half hours a day. Right. And, right. and they have to be able to take direction and, and learn mm -hmm. and, and manage, their self, <clears throat> manage themselves with this other person. Right, right. So, so the first, one of the big things associated with, emotional control at this age is being able to take direction from someone else. That's right. Uh, they have to not, uh, they have to be able to avoid, you know, temper tantrums and things like that that happen. Yeah, that still happen in preschool. That's right. Temper tantrums are a normal part of child development. They be, they begin sometime around in the twos. That's why we worry the terrible twos. Right. So the, the beginning of temper tantrums, but temper tantrums typically are limited by, by age three or so. Right. Most kids are not having temper tantrums, unless they're being rewarded for them. Mm -hmm. That's another topic for another day. But um, um, by age five, temper tantrums should be over. Right. And if they're not, then we have to deal with them in a different way. But children should be able to contain themselves enough not to be throwing themselves on the floor and having mm -hmm. a... They may express disappointment. They may cry. They may um, get angry. But the 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 um, full-blown temper tantrum should now be a thing of the past. Right. Because you don't want that to happen at school. Absolutely. That, that, so that's one of those things that you want to be have be finished with by the ch time a child goes to kindergarten. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, a second reason that emotional control is really important by this age is <clears throat> that emotional control will better allow the child to manage schedules. That's right. You know, they have to be... There's going to be things that they're going... That they, 
that they're going to have to do in, in kindergarten and school that they don't necessarily whether, want to do. Whether they want to do them or not. Right. At home, we can be much more flexible. Right. When you're in school, you can't be flexible. If right. it's time to leave the classroom, it's time to leave the classroom. And, right. and you can't you can't leave a five-year-old in a classroom by herself. Right. You can leave a five-year-old at home in a room by herself. So at this age, children have to be able to handle their emotions enough that when it's time to leave, it is time to leave. Right. Period. Right. Right. And then the third reason, and this is a very critical reason, and hopefully parents have worked on this a lot for their kids on their on the way up, and that is transitions. Right. You know, being able to shift and adjust. Um, so it's not just sticking to a schedule, but it's to say, you know, I know that you're really enjoying playing with those mm -hmm. blocks right now, but it's time to stop that and right. come over here and sit on the sit on the carpet so that we can, you know, have uh, story time. And a child has to be able to handle that transition. Yeah. Um, when when the teacher makes the request, the entire class has to get up and move to right. the new place. Um, you don't have a choice. You can't now have a private little temper tantrum because you're not ready to disengage. Right. So you have to be by age five. A child should be able to transition upon request from one activity to another activity. Right. So as a parent, it's really important that we spend this, you know, first five years, uh, but mm -hmm. especially the, the ages of three and four, exposing our kids to some of these kinds of expectations. So whether they're in preschool, uh, preschool again is a great um, exposure great, right. to some of this for them it's to good get some training practice ground. and, yeah. and, and train. Mm -hmm. uh, but if, if you don't have them in preschool, it's important that you have them exposed to some of these things in other ways. So right. you can have babysitters, you can have, you know, if you go to church, you know, they, they're going to get some exposure mm -hmm. to that in Sunday school and, and in the, in the pre-K program uh, at the churches. But whatever the case may be, they need to have some exposure to that, but they also have to have some exposure to the expectations of transitions and schedules That's and, right. and, you know, working to, um, while you may as a parent be much more flexible earlier in life, mm -hmm. you know, when they're three and four, develop a schedule and a routine that maybe is a little bit more consistent or a lot more consistent would be nice and, and work on those transition times and work on those, those, that kind of uh, ability to stick to a routine, even right. when you know that it's going to be challenging for them because they're going to really enjoy watching the program on TV that they're watching, right. but you need to get them to transition to do something that they maybe don't right. want to do as much. You have to give your three and four year old children opportunities to learn how to transition. Right. Okay, you can't expect them just not ever worry about transitions and then suddenly at age five, they have to go, they go to kindergarten right. and they, they've never learned how to transition. Right. Um, they have to learn emotional control. Right. Um, but you have to give them opportunities to learn mm -hmm. that. There's one other thing that I think you should be able, you should accomplish by age five. And that is that kids should be cleaning up or at least helping to clean up their own messes. Mm -hmm. But they should understand that if they take something out, they should put it back. If they right. make a mess, they clean a mess. Mm -hmm. Many of us it's just easier to do it ourselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doing it ourselves denies the child the opportunity to learn how to clean our own messes. Right. Okay. And th that's another important um, thing to accomplish before they go to uh, kindergarten. Right. So, and that, and that absolutely is related to the emotional but it's all about it, because right. it's all about emotional They're going to get frustrated. They're going to get upset about it. And they have to be able to contain that and, and that's right. the expectation. Learn, give them opportunities to learn how to deal with their emotional turmoil while you're with them at home, right. okay? Get all that accomplished by the time they get to age five. And kindergarten will be a very, a much more pleasure, pleasant experience for them. Right, absolutely. So, so all right. Well, I think that's Good. it for today. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow we'll be hitting, talking about age eight. The magic number eight. The magic number My eight. Favorite. That's it. We uh, have a little bit to say about age eight because that's not as, it, it's not as commonly talked about, but that's right. It, it, this is a very, it's a very important critical, critical, period, so critical age. Yep. We will, we will talk about that one tomorrow, but uh, for the rest of the day today, have it, have a great day, eat well, uh, exercise and, and spend some time with your family. Be happy today. All right. So we'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.